A slugfest at tonight's Democratic presidential debate in Las Vegas. The candidates took aim at each other during some very fiery exchanges. Alexandria Hoff is in our satellite center with the details. Alex? Well, fiery indeed, and there is a new face on hand tonight. Michael Bloomberg largely sat out of primary campaigning in places like Iowa and New Hampshire, opting instead to focus on a national ad campaign and swing states. Tonight, his presence clearly brought a new dynamic to the debate. Before any words were exchanged, the attention was already on former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. And I'm a philanthropist who didn't inherit his money, but made his money. And I'm spending that money to get rid of Donald Trump. It is the billionaire's first debate. The same polling that qualified him for the Nevada stage placed Bloomberg in second behind a surge for the current frontrunner, Senator Bernie Sanders. Everybody up here wants to be Trump. And we talked about stop and frisk and we talked about the workplace that Mayor Bloomberg has established and the problems there. But maybe we should also ask how Mayor Bloomberg in 2004 supported George W. Bush for president. I'd like to talk about who we're running against. A billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. Former Mayor Bloomberg's leadership in New York remained a constant criticism. The fact of the matter is he has not managed his city very, very well when he was there. He didn't get a whole lot done. He had stop and frisk, throwing a close to five million young black men up against the wall. But the candidates did not hold back on each other either. But maybe this is appropriate. I, I, can I just the focus of the evening remained on electability. I'm the one on this stage that had the highest voter turnout of any state in the country when I led the tip ticket, as well as bringing in rural and suburban voters. We could wake up two weeks from today, the day after Super Tuesday, and the only candidate that's left standing will be Bernie Sanders and Mike Bloomberg, the two most polarizing figures on this stage. The Nevada caucuses will take place this Saturday. Reporting live in the Sat Center, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Make it interesting, Alex. Thank you.